Hey, what's up guys? It's me again and I am currently mining Cedra and Bugna right now. Those are more profitable, those coins, those forks are more profitable than Casper right now. Um, so I just switched all my um, miners straight to those, all of them. For now, but I'll switch it back because I want to get as much coin as I can now. But I did get my gold that I wanted to get on those because I ended up paying out of pocket in, in completing the amounts that I wanted to get because I'm, I'm Bugna, I wanted to get 10 million plus. So I got the 10 million. You know, I was mining, I had over like whatever, 2 million. And then I decided to put in pretty much the rest. Uh, so I pretty much put in the rest of it to get the 10 million. Uh, in, in several days as I was mining it as well and and the same thing as Cedra I wanted to get 1 million Cedra and hold those, those coins I got but I, I got the 1 million because I ended up putting you know cause I was still mining it but I decided to put in the rest amount out of pocket to get them 1 million Cedra so right now I'm not uh, mining uh, Casper just for a little bit, you know, just for a little bit, the things kind of cool down. Because right now, those two coins are are bringing in the more uh, the money than um, Casper. I mean, I you know, for me, I'm thinking about just kind of going and just purchasing Casper and just continue to mine those for now, kind of. But I am gonna go back to mining Casper again because you know that's my coin right there. But um. That's what I'm. That's what I'm currently doing right now, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave these these um Bugna and Cedra, and I'll just pay out of pocket, you know, and get the um Casper. So that miner, the 400 uh, Giga Hash one, the Ultra, is working beautifully, nice and fixed. When I did that swap, it works perfect. So, I got another machine coming in that's broken. I got it off of eBay. I got it for like 140 bucks. Another Ultra. Um, the guy had claimed that that um, three of the ASIC chips look like it's not um, <clears throat> they're not they're not functioning. It's not um, hashing, whatever, causing it not to work, you know, properly. But, you, but he can get into the to the into the GUI. Which is fine. That's great. You know, it's a good thing. So I think it's one of the LDOs. I'm not sure. I have to, you know, I have to check it. You know, check it. Check it out on my on my workbench over here, and um, take a look at it. Hopefully, I I should be able to you know get it fixed. You know, I should be able to fix it. That will, if that if I get that fixed, that would be great. You know, I have another um uh uh ultra. That would be my second ultra. But I do have another ultra coming in, which is going to be my third one. Um. Supposedly coming in on Monday that I ordered from um, NHash. I paid about $175,000 at the time when I ordered it. But now it's like $150-something plus $100 shipping. That's, um, I looked at the tracking and it says uh, I should be here on Monday. <coughs> Always a little. So, um, and I'm getting a, uh, a ghost shell. Uh, KA box that's the 1.6 gig I think that's the pro 1.8 I mean right 1.6 uh, giga hash tera hash one point or oh, whatever yeah 1.6 tera hash that's coming in also I think Monday or Tuesday and I had ordered the, that one a few days ago um <clears throat> so I should be getting that one in like Monday or Tuesday and uh, that's two miners that will be coming in. Well, three, including the broken one, coming in. Um, um, and also I have, I also ordered one of those little lottery Bitcoin machines. The Big Axe, Bit Axe. And that's coming in. I'm going to leave that one on totally solar because it only runs on about 16 watts or so. And I'm just, you know, playing with that. You know, I want to try it out and, you know. Give it a shot, you know. So that's coming in as well. Those three miners. 
and right now I have these are all the pros I have seven pros because I had gotten rid of the regular I drink a KSO I sold that one but I got the seven pros that's what I have there that's six on top one over here I don't have a fan on that one because that one like, likes it hot I'm gonna leave it the way it is I ain't gonna mess with it and I got the ultra which I fixed yesterday using the let me turn on this light over here <clears throat> I did the memory swap so I'm doing that I got memory chips for sale if anybody needs a uh, memory chip for sale I take uh, I take cash caspa or whatever credit cards or whatever I got memory chips available already pre-programmed with the original software if anybody's interested in that the link is in the description uh, I, I'm also uh, if anybody wants a machine like they don't know how to that's that's if you want to do the soldering and stuff yourself you know so I'll just ship you out the chip but if you want me to do the soldering and, and stuff you have to send me the board just the board you don't have you I mean if you could open it up and just send the motherboard itself without the, the entire frame I, I'll you know I go ahead and fix it but it's gonna it's gonna cost you some money you know what I mean I didn't pay now I'm gonna do all that work it's gonna take like a couple of hours to, for me to do it you know you know but it's, it's not a lot I'm not asking for a lot but you know that's up to you guys but um link is in the description link or whatever you know um what else uh, just contact me to, if you guys are interested in that but yeah I, you know I I ended up you know figuring that out I'm so happy about that you know cuz I was like damn I hope I'm not stuck with this minor you know cuz I was just about to sell it I was just about to sell this minor I was about to get rid of it you know I had it listed on eBay so of course there's a lot of low ballers they was like oh I'll give you 50 bucks for it I was like nah hell no you crazy I paid more money for that and, and, and some people would say a hundred dollars uh, for it. Oh, it's only worth like a hundred dollars. It's not working, whatever. Yeah, but when it gets fixed, you know, it's gonna be worth more money. But I ended up not, you know, um, it didn't sell, and uh, I ended up ended up getting relisted again, right? I did drop the price down uh, about ten dollars, and and during that time, you know, I was trying to figure out, you know. How successful I'm gonna do this um, um, swap and stuff like that. And <clears throat> as soon as I got my um, my reader adapter here in, because that's what I needed, because I already had this. You know, I already was talking about doing this for a while. You know, for like about ten days, ten days already ago. I already mentioned it on a video ten days ago about me doing this uh, uh, swap. You know, on uh, on the, on on this this minor you know so so what I did was I ordered the stuff and whatever you know what I needed was this this is what I needed but I already had this I already had I already had the chips because you know I already had these chips here because I had these as a backup for parts but um as soon as I got that in yesterday I started messing around with it, figuring out how to, you know, uh, you know, move the software and stuff like that, you know, copy it and stuff like that. Once I figured that out, I was like, I think I got this. Let me, let me, let me do the, the, the soldering and all that stuff, you know, desoldering. I started desoldering it and stuff like that. And I ended up doing that. And, and it worked, as, as you saw in my previous videos. <clears throat> so, I'm happy about that, you know. The thing is, I mean, you could do it yourself, but you're going to need, yeah, like I said, you're going to need something like a microscope or something to see because the pins are so small and you're just going to mess up. You, you know, the high chance you're going to mess, screw the whole thing up. You need that. You also need a, 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 a hot air station like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, for you to do it yourself, you got to have these things because that, that alone was like 200 and something dollars. That was 200 something dollars for that, you know. Then you need tools, you know, you need the tools to do, you know, uh, place the, the, the hold and, and place the, the, the chip, you know what I mean? 
you know, you need you need you need soldering wire, you need flux, you know, you need a bunch of stuff, you know. You need at least a, one of these testers testing the pins, you know. Like I like to test things, you know, if, if it's seated right or whatever. You need a, a, a soldering iron. I have this. This is my soldering iron right here that I use. I need something really tiny like this, you know, a pen soldering iron. Um, this is the type that I use when I'm doing that, that, that those, uh, that kind of work on uh, those uh, microscopic chips and pins and stuff like that. You know, micro soldering. You know, so. I even got this EEPROM eraser here, but I didn't have to because that one, you don't need to use this uh, EEPROM, which the bulb blew out. Uh, I ended up uh, ordering another one, and that one blew out itself. Actually, when I connected, it was flickering, and then it ended up blowing out, same day. So, I don't know if there's something wrong with this. I don't think so, but, uh, so they're sending a replacement again. I'm going to give it another shot. You know, I mean, that wasn't a lot, though. But this is... I don't need that for that that specific chip because that was like a read and write chip that you don't need uh, that UV uh, thing to erase it. So I already got these two. Like I think I said, I said it. I got two available, and I got a whole bunch coming in. You know, I had ordered a whole bunch of more chips coming in, and I'm gonna reprogram all of those. So if anybody's interested in um, doing that work themselves. Um, um, you know, let me know. Um, it's, it's actually not hard, but you know, you gotta have the skills to do it because in a steady hand, you know, and uh, some patience, you know, because you kind of run out of patience trying to do that because it gets annoying sometimes with you know, the solder's not flowing correctly and stuff like that. And I got these here, I'm trying to get rid of these. Got these guys for sale listed on eBay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of those so I can recoup some of the money for the miners that I ordered. You know, still got a machine on. I got actually I, I plugged in two of them on solar. I I, I need to make it stronger. I need more panels. I, I need some more panels. You know, but I, I gotta rearrange the space where I'm gonna put these panels and stuff like that. You know, I would like to put like a. A pagola, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Some work there, but uh, I, you know, I got things I want to get rid of. Uh, quite a few things that you know, I got like a mess here. They got all this stuff like that. You know, this is a uh, podcast station. This is my wife's podcast station here, and I got computers and stuff all over the place. You know, so I'm just getting rid of a lot of the clutter and stuff. Like I got rid of one of these retro. So I got an old Atari computers. I got rid of one already. I'm gonna get rid of this monitor here. Everything works. I got all those Atari computers there. That was my first computer, which was uh, the 65 XE. This was my first computer ever when I was a kid. Uh, so I'm gonna keep that, you know. And my first game system was. An Atari 2600. I got that kept there. Even I have this other Atari here. It was it was that one. This model right here. That was the model that I I first computer I ever got. And that's how I learned how to program was through this computer, Art Basic. You know, so those I'm keeping. You know, so you know I'm messing around with stuff. You know, um. <clears throat> That I got a whole bunch of these power supplies here. I'm, I'm going to sell like four of them. Uh, I got a lot of them, so I'm going to sell, get rid of four of them. I think I have too many. You know, I gotta recoup some of the money. You know, but so that's it. That's pretty much what I'm doing. You know, and I'm waiting for those machines to come in. And uh, the only thing is the power. That's what. That's why. You know, I, I mean, if I had cheap power, then I would not have gotten rid of these. You know. Uh, but I don't have cheap power. I mean, I have some to want running on solar, but I can't hold all of them to run on solar. So I got the other ones that are faster, you know. Th these are 200 giga hashes. I'm going to replace these with uh, with the 400 giga hashes all and the 1.6 tera hash one from Gold Shell. You know, I mean, they look pretty up here, right? <laughs> but, uh. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's it for the video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later on the next one. Peace and I'm out. Laters.